Hello and welcome to a rather special episode of Enter the Kitchen. Now today on the show we're going to be entering the kitchen of Mr. Sandesh Reddy. Now I know Sandy best for his chocolatey little experiments, but today we're going to be getting a taste of authentic Nellore cuisine here at Maya Restaurant. <music> Well, we are in the kitchen now of Sunday Shreddy. Now, Sandy, you have something very delicious up your sleeve, right? Yes. Okay. Um, what are you whipping up? Baby potatoes that okay. are fried and tossed in a traditional Andhra podi. Okay. Then we're doing a sous-weed cooked prawn and mango curry. Mm. So that's something that's interesting. Okay. And a white chocolate and golden apple vermicelli pies. That's okay. the Diwali special, so to speak. Yay! So now this is Andhra cuisine with a sandy-ish twist. Sort it's of. yeah, it's my interpretation on traditional Andhra food. Okay. That's what we're doing at Maya. And that's okay. That's something that we could showcase for Diwali. Yeah, as definitely, well. definitely. Okay. So what what are we starting with? I'm also just so you know your official sous chef. I'll mm -hmm. do whatever you want. I'll cut. I'll chop. I'll dice. Whatever. Um, it is. Sundar has pretty much done most yeah? of the work. Sundar is our You're chef. saying I'm not a I'm not a worthy enough sous chef? Um, sous fingers chef. are too pretty for the kitchen. Aww. <laughs> Got some potatoes mm -hmm. that have just been halved. And they've just been washed a little just to brim off the excess starch that you usually have in potatoes. Okay. I'm gonna just sprinkle some sea salt mm -hmm. just to make sure that they're coated evenly. Okay. Once they're coated, it's a very straightforward process. I'm going to lay them on my perforated GN pan here. Mm -hmm. I'm going to use this perforated pan. Shove it straight into my combi steamer, which I need to turn on. That's it. That's and right. once they're steamed, we dunk them in some buttermilk, which I've got here, okay. which has been flavored with uh, <laughs> low on water. <laughs> it has been sitting in there for some time. Okay. So I think they should be good right. to pull out. It's a lot of steam. That's dramatic. So those okay. are our steamed potatoes. Perfectly steamed potatoes. Evenly steamed, mm -hmm. thanks to the conifer. So, yeah, now from here, mm -hmm. we can dunk them into our buttermilk mixture. Okay. It's basically just buttermilk with pieces of ginger, mm -hmm. coriander, and some salt. Trying not to burn you. Well, anyway. I appreciate that. Here we are. Okay. Now, we'd ideally like to soak these for at least six hours. Okay. And uh, the reason I put them in while they were hot into a ice cold buttermilk bath is because whatever flavor that permeates mm -hmm. um, kind of stays in there because they start to shrink almost rapidly because okay. of the, you know, the hot to cold mm -hmm. emotions. It's are basically more shocking the yeah, potatoes. Okay. And they're a lot more porous. And this also intensifies the buttermilk flavor, so that's something that we normally do. So we've got our potatoes all yes, steamed? Yes, they're all steamed. They've been okay. sitting in buttermilk mixture for about six hours now. Okay. I'm going to transfer that into another bowl that I can toss in a coating mixture mm -hmm. that we have here. Coating mixture has chili powder, some mm -hmm. salt, a little bit of onion powder mm. and it just goes on top. 
And if you want to get your fingers dirty, you can just toss them around. Hmm. Is that, is that a request? You could if you want to. Okay. You don't have to be too gingerly with it. <laughs> Fine, just get on in there. Mm -hmm. Okay. There you are. Is that good? Yep, I'm just going to mm -hmm. toss them with a little more powder, just so that they're evenly coated. There you are. That's fine. You don't have to be too perfect. We okay. need a little bit of exposed potatoes here and there. Okay. And then move over to our fryer. Okay. The fryer is sitting at 170 degrees. Okay. You can definitely repeat this at home in a kadai. Mm -hmm. We prefer a fryer because it's just got a larger area and it's evenly heated. Mm -hmm. So I'm just going to drop the potatoes real slow. cook those for, Sandy? Um, about six to seven minutes. Okay. Um, because they're small and they've been pre-steamed, yeah. can go up to about say, you, Sometimes you'd see them just getting a lot more color right at the beginning. You can mm -hmm. use that as well if you want to. Go by visuals. Sometimes if the potatoes are smaller and they have a little less coating, mm -hmm. I would say even three minutes. So mm -hmm. I think it's very visual then by doing it by time. Okay. Once they're fried, okay. we transfer them onto a clean bowl. Beautiful. Those look sumptuous. I know there's a ton of flavor already sitting in there, mm -hmm. but you just to kind it. of spice it a little more, uh -huh. just to kind of take it up a notch. No, you're, you're we, taking up the We've got a traditional um, Andhra rice body that we normally use. Okay. So we're going to toss some of it there and just coat it mildly. So you're going to get an additional coating. I'm not draining the potatoes onto a paper towel of any sort just because I want like a little bit of oil mm -hmm. to stick and to make sure that they're coated evenly. Mm -hmm. Sandy, this is going to pack a punch. It's not that spicy. Yeah. I think we've gone a little easy on, even though it looks a lot more, I mean, a lot more intense than it, mm -hmm. and, and smells a lot, lot, a very intense note, but it's not that spicy. Mm -hmm. so much. Mm. Mm. Is that too spicy for you? Mm -mm. They're melting in my mouth. Mm. So, there you have it. I can have another? You can double dig. <laughs> Thank you. I'll just take the whole bowl, if you don't mind. Go right ahead. Those are really good. And these were ready in what, 10, 10 minutes, prep? Um, prep, yes, but the six hours of resting that you, that you let mm -hmm. them sit in the buttermilk, mm -hmm. that's pretty much the time killer. Mm -hmm. But they're worth it. Mm. Fantastic. Well, Sandy has a few more tricks. You'll just have to stay tuned. I'm just going to keep eating. 